welcome you to today's edition on Biafra Discourse. I still remain associated Peters. I'm not going to be saying too much because I'll be bringing my big brother, Asari Dokubo, to say exactly what I've been talking about, the unity of Biafran people and how important it is for various pro-Biafran groups to shield their song and unite as one. Yes, I've said it before, but I think there is a better person that said it the way it should come to you. There's one thing in common I have with Asari Dokobo, and that is the mantra of this platform. We see it, we say it. Asari Dokobo is one man that sees it and says it the way it is, without any sentiment or mainstream word. Listen to Asari Dokobo, because I'll be right back to wrap it up. Now, over to my brother, Asari Dokobo. Fellow citizens of the United States of Biafra, our struggle had reached every nook and cranny of this world. People have heard about the plight of Biafra, our we are daily being killed, our resources have been stolen, and how we are dehumanized, how we are subjected to all forms of deprivation by those who we are better than. But having said that, there is also this very ugly trend now amongst ourselves very ugly, nauseating threat of we going to the social media, abusing ourselves, going to the print media, abusing ourselves, going to television and radio, abusing ourselves, and reducing our struggle to ridicule exposing our struggle to danger, exposing the struggle to the jeer and mockery of the enemy. And this trend must stop, to be very frank with you, it must stop. Why, 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 if we really want what we want, we want freedom, why this quarrel between Raf and Inam Dikano and everybody taking side, calling them, this one calling them, this one saying this, why? We must be serious with ourselves. What are we competing for? Biafra has not elected anybody as president, as prime minister, or as anything. That's the truth of the matter. It is left for the people of Biafra to choose who will lead them. All of us are just vessels in the service of the cause of our people. And nothing more, nothing less. And that's it. We must tell ourselves the truth and stop this nonsense, try this nerve. And this idiotic behavior that we are putting up before the whole world. The revival of Biafra started with the Revival of Biafra started with our Sinobra Rafa Wazuki. He started it. He came to Port Harcourt, 2000, walked among people with your Koko, Kalada Jenny, Dr. Wami, Wucho Yegocha, all of us, and started walking for the formation of Massop. Massop was not supposed to be an evil organization. It was supposed to be an organization. And from the beginning, there were a job, every, a job people, uh, mommy Kate. And every woman, a woman who was over 70 years, was one of the founders of Massop. Kalada Jenny, and a job man from Bonny, who was educated by the IYC, was one of the founders of Mossop. Dr. Wami, an equally medical doctor, the owner of uh, former local government chairman of Patakot, and the owner of uh, my one clinic, was one of the founders of Mossop.
which are Okoho, and Ikoreba, now Secretary of Foreign Aid, was one of the founders, the first legal advisor of Masom. Of Masom. And we started. So people come in to say all these things. If today, good luck to Nathan, if good luck to Nathan ever became president, the first person to take the credit for that presidency should be Ralph Owazuke. Because for the first time, he started the conscious effort of bringing all their friends together. He started the conscious effort of bringing all their friends together. And it is sad. People who know nothing, who have contributed nothing, is rubbishing this man. And we cannot stay. When I was arrested, he was the person who took the services of my counsel, Sessor Skiamu, to come and defend me. On my first day appearance in court, mass of members were there in court. My second appearance, 18 of them were arrested and they were taken to Suleja prison. Along with some Ijo female students, my aunties and my, uh, my younger sisters. And others. So, Ralph had done his own. He started it. He's a pace setter. He's the one who opened the door that all of us passed through. But that doesn't mean that Ralph won the struggle. That Ralph is the president of uh, uh, Biafra. That is left for the people of Biafra. Or Ralph, Ralph is the Alpha and Omega and the leader of Biafra. No. I know the problem between Ralph and uh, NMD over radio, Biafra, etc., etc. And I have told Ralph, I said, yeah, senior brother, leave this matter. Let us reach our destination. I told him in his, uh, in his parlor, in a way. Twice I, I, I was there, I went to him. Even before Namdi was arrested. After Namdi was arrested, I had been there once. Before the release of Namdi. Let all of us come together and make sure Namdi is released. And he agreed with me. Only for me to see in the paper, talk this one, talk that one, talk this. Even me, Inamdi abused me on Radio Biafra. But who am I? Who am I? The struggle for the freedom of my 21 children. The struggle for the freedom of those under my care. That they will stand shoulder to shoulder with all other people all over the world and be proud to say their parents are free. They are not under the bondage of anybody. Nobody is looking down on them. Nobody is feeling that it's greater than them. Nobody will call them names that they are better than. That freedom is worth more than me. It's worth more than Asari. Asan is nobody when it comes to the liberation, freedom of the Biafra nation. At 53, many have died. My wife, my former wife died. Zainab, she never thought she was going to die. There are my cousins, my father. So at 53, if I die today, what? God has, God has been extra, extra partial in keeping me alive, if I'm to say so. Because I have at every moment in my life, I was just a second away from death. For the past 30 years, I've been second away from death. And God has always kept me alive for something. He knows what he's keeping me for. And I pray that I'll be able to deliver what he's keeping me for. Inshallah. Our, brother, our younger brother, Abba, we must give honor to who honor is due. There is nobody living or dead. There is nobody living or dead. I repeat it. There is nobody living or dead that in so short a time has brought the issue of Biafra to the forefront, the, the issue of Biafra to the front burner of the world politics, like as Inam Dikano has done it. There is nobody. I have done nothing. I, I don't want to be attributed anything. I am doing what I'm supposed to do as a Biafra. And I'm the camera's done. And we must give.
But that does not give him the canoe. The this thing that is the head of Biafra. He owns Biafra. He is the uh, Alpha and Omega of Biafra. Without him, Biafra can know. We are all vessel in the service of our people for the liberation and the restoration of the solely sovereignty of Biafra. So let this chorus talk. Let us work together. And all men of goodwill should join hands together with me to bring all of us together. We need the strength, the expertise of every Biafra to achieve our independence. This is the last, this is the last battle. This is the, if we miss this, we'll be done for. Let ego and personality clash, competition, let it not come in. I am not looking for anything, my brothers, sisters. If you lie, believe me. If you lie, don't believe me. I'm not looking for anything. I have never looked for anything. I have dedicated my life right from when I was small. That I must restore the pride of my family. I am an Amakri. Our sovereignty was stolen by the British. I have always worked and labored. All those who know me, who are hearing me talk, they were attached to me that, that this had been my goal. This had been my goal. And all of you are aware the position of my family. Every caravan person is aware the position of my family. My family is Biafra. My father, His Majesty, King Frederick, Tom Prince William, Amakri the Hate abdicated the Calabar's throne because of Biafra. He gave up the Calabar throne because of Biafra. To him, Biafra was more important than the throne of his father. Are you a king? So the other day I heard Ajimobi saying that a local government chairman is more important than an Oba, than an Olui Badon, than anything. So that is the king that you are. You are my neighbor, you are Obi, you are Oba, you are under local government chairman. Look at the insult. That is what Nigeria has reduced. And we can't accept that. Our fathers build this nation with their blood, pain, and sweat. And that's, that has been my life ambition. And God has kept me alive. My brothers. Ralph, you are our father. You are older than us. You are old enough to be a Namdi's father. A Namdi Kano. You are young enough to be Ralph's son. Whatever wrong we have done to each other is not important. Or the, the, our greatest our greatest rise, our crown of glory, is the independence of Biafra. We can't throw it away on the altar of ego, on the altar of pettiness. We must work together. We are all workers in this vineyard for the independence of our great motherland. That never, never, never will we be oppressed again. And all of us on social media writing nonsense. You are in the comfort of your home in America. You are in the comfort of your home in uh, the UK. You are in, in, in France. You are in Belgium. You are in South Africa. You are there. Yeah, people are facing bullets. People are being flogged. People are being done all sort of things. And you are there. You are writing. Your own is to write on social media to bring this unity amongst us, amongst our struggle. You are talking of this one. You are talking of that one. No. We need everybody on board. If we know that this person cannot work with us. We all come out and say, my friend, you can't work with us. You are a traitor. You are a betrayer. We don't want you. But all those who want to work, all hands must be on deck. All hands must be brought together. And we must arrive at our destination. He has said it all. What else do you want me to say? He has invariably said it the way it is without missing words. Nobody can say it better than this. Yes, Obron Tim Kantion, 
My ears are not bigger than yours. You had it from him. And this is what I have been hammering on several years ago. And up to today, I kept saying it, that Biafra will be an illusion if we continue on the path of antagonizing ourselves and fighting against ourselves, especially on the public domain, on the social media and other social media and other media platforms. It's unfortunate to see various pro Biafra leaders attacking themselves, blackmailing themselves, lying against themselves, working against as if the Biafra agitation is an Olympic affair where some people want to be the champions. Where some people want to take the crown and credit of restoring Biafra. Please, if you can do it alone, oh yeah, go and get it. But I am sure that we have different strength. I am sure we have different qualities. I am sure we have different capacities that if it is pulled together, I tell you, we'll just walk away from this contraption called Nigeria. Asai Lokubo has said something about today, about Rafa Wazulika and Nnamdekano. What of Rafa Wazulika and Uten Namadu? What of Nnamdekano and the Council of Elders? What of Nnamdekano and, uh, and, and Barisemeka Emekesuri? Barisemeka Emekesuri and uh, that of, uh, what do you call him, uh, Ijidi Amadi of Bile Human Rights Initiative? What about IPOB Namdekano, Radio Biafra, and Clifford Urania, Omiomio, and the rest of What about somebody like Ike Chukwe Nyago, the man I respect so much, the first COC of IPOB under Namdekano? What about the Council of Elders and then Namdekano? What pro Biafra group can you mention today that do not have a splitter unit? And the most annoying part of this whole thing is that when they split, they start attacking themselves instead of focusing on their goal and mission. That is so ridiculous. It has reduced Biafra to a mockery stage. But I think we can redeem it. At least you have heard it from the man you need to hear it from. This message is not for anyone in particular. It is for everyone in general. Every Biafra. It is your responsibility to ensure that this unity works you are listening to me first of all you start sharing this video and make sure that everyone sees it and gets the the right information from asari dokubo the call for unity if you say ah, who am i to even talk about unity listen to the man asari i believe every one of us respect that man he has done so much for the liberation of his people and he has been unbiased so let us take this message to the right destination this message is exclusive for the Biafran people, especially those who have brought themselves out to agitate for the liberation of Biafra. So, I tell you this time, this is no time to play your group or whatever uh, 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 group uh, affiliation. This is about the freedom of Biafra people. Stop being used by your leaders to attack other people. If you have your own objective, follow it. Stop calling someone a saboteur, unprintable names, because he disagrees with your methodology. And stop picking on each other on social media. We can criticize ourselves, yes, because Biafra can never be a state without criticism. We must criticize ourselves. We must debate. We must dialogue. We must look into what we are doing, not, to, in order, not for us to make mistakes. In fact, I have to stop here because Asari has said it all. But before I go, I want to tell you this. It is your responsibility to get this message out. We are all guilty of what Asari Dokubo said. Like I said, it is not about um, Rafa Wazrike and then Nam Likanu alone. It is about all the leadership of pro Frank groups. The ones I mentioned and the ones I didn't mention. Every one of them is guilty of being part, playing a big role in the disunity of Biafra, which had been the greatest impediment of Biafra liberation and freedom. So we have to take that guilt, we have to accept that fault, and we must. It is a matter of must, it's not a matter of will, it is a must. We must, we must all forgive and forget and try to find a way to work together, at least to the point of not fighting against ourselves. You can call your brother in the secret and tell him whatever thing you feel, but if he doesn't, you move ahead. You don't try to pull this person down in order to climb or, or have relevance. I think there has been too many words for the wives. 
this is time for us to do the right thing. And you have a role to play. It's beginning from me to you. Like I said earlier in my previous video, I said, I forgive anyone that has offended me in any way. And anyone that I have offended should please forgive. And that is what I want every pro group leadership to do. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to join me tomorrow by 7 p.m. That is the time, People's Parliament. You have to be there because tomorrow's own is going to be a while. A lot of people have been calling me about the timing and all that. Please don't be so disappointed that anytime you call by 7 o'clock that we are not live. We are taking it as much as we can carry it. People's Parliament will be coming up tomorrow by 7 p.m. Don't ask me who is going to be the guest because this time you are going to be wild or who is going to be gracing People's Parliament and answering critical questions about the Biafra freedom, how we're going to get Biafra, and the unity of Biafra, which is paramount. Thank you for watching this far. Don't forget to click on the subscription. Click on that subscription button, that red button. Click on it, and on the bell beside it. Click on that, and you'll be getting notification whenever we are up and running on your own voice, the People's Voice, BVI channel. One. Follow us on all our social media platforms. Visit our website for news updates. That is www.bvichannel1.com. You can from the links from the description, you will see our app links, the Android, iOS, and Windows. Get them and install them on your devices, and you have all the information on the go. I still may not switch in the Twitter saying, stay safe, and above all, be blessed. Goodbye.